Hello boys and girls, it's Pavlov again. I just got home from work. I work at a casino as security. Check out this badass jacket. Security! What? Yeah, I'm not a cop. We're not cops, but some of us try to be. Um, let me take this off. It's really, uh, it's kind of thin. Most of us wear sweatshirts underneath it to keep ourselves warm. It's, uh, it's starting to get windy and cold here. Um, we'll start at the top. This is my mic. Uh, connects to our radios. You just press to talk to surveillance. Um, down here, my right pocket, I keep my notebook. We write down all of our escorts and our, yeah, hot pink. It's my daughter's. I found it under the couch. Uh, but we write down our escorts and anything unusual so we can keep track of it. On this side is my badge. It says security enforcement officer. I actually had to pick that up for myself. Uh, they didn't have any to issue me. But uh, it works. This is my pins. Uh, I have two pins. Our... Uh, our videos actually say to keep two pins in case one runs out. Uh, down here, uh, this is where the radio goes right here and it plugs into the side. This is my handcuff case, just normal handcuffs. I'll show you everything in detail uh, in a second. Here we go around. This is a 511 TDU belt, it's one and a half inches, uh, black. Blends in nicely uh, with my uniform. And uh, it's really strong. A lot of other officers use a duty belt, those thick belts, to keep their stuff on. But I find this is strong enough. And I don't want that thick thing around my waist. Um, this is a CPR kit. It has a mask and gloves in it. I uh, made it tactical. I blacked out the, the Red Cross thing on there. This is my slot card. It's for slot machines. Uh, this is my handcuff key. You just put a, a regular small one inside it. Uh, this is my flashlight. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. And this is my glove pouch. It holds four pairs of rubber gloves. We have a lot of visitors. A lot of old visitors. They uh, trip and fall, injure themselves a lot. Uh, also a lot of injuries at the pool. A little bit of blood. I'll do a little spin. Ooh, check that out <laughs> and in my pockets I keep another pin keep another pin I use this one so I got three I'm better I'm better than the video I keep a lighter I always like to keep a lighter on me uh, some of the employees forget their lighters or a customer forgets their lighter and I help them out uh, eye drops I keep these I got I wear contacts and there's lots of smoke inside the casino. Okay, that's it for that pocket. I'll switch to this pocket. Uh, I have a disabled wife. Uh, I need to stay in constant contact with her, so I carry my phone. Uh, yeah, so I carry my phone for emergencies. And I carry, that's it. Oh, I'm carrying chapstick now. I don't ever usually carry chapstick, but... Uh, my nose is getting rubbed raw with a cold right now. Uh, this is my watch. It's got military time on the outside. Uh, we write everything down in military time. All of our key logs or everything. So uh, that's it. I'll show you everything in detail now. Oh, here's my boots. Uh, we had a, a boot world truck come to our, come to our work. And uh, we could put these on our paychecks. So I got some nice boots. They're Magnums. Uh, they're six inches. I think they're called Stealth Force, and they have composite toes. Uh, I see this one's getting chewed up a little bit, and we have to wear black socks. So I think the uniform looks nice and professional. Hey, uh, this is Pavlov. Um, this is the detailed section of my work EDC. This is a big no-no. You, This is considered a weapon because of this. It has a blade. Multi-tools, anything with a blade is considered a weapon. You know, among other weapons like batons. and uh, We don't even carry a baton. We only have handcuffs. So this is a big no-no. It's considered a weapon. Not allowed in the casino. 
Here's the little stuff that's in my pocket. Chapstick. Don't remember the brand. This is a mini Bic. I, uh, this is the best size, I think, for my pocket. Our uniform pants are kind of thin, like dress pants. So I carry that. Uh, I forgot the brand of eye drops, but these are just for her soft contacts. Moisten them back up after all that smoke. Here's my watch and the three pins that I currently carry. Uh, this was $10 off eBay shipped. It's Casio. It has military time on the outside. Uh, like I said, all of our logs and entries are in military time, even our time clock. This is a Fisher Space Pin. It's the rocket model. I believe these are disposable Fisher pins. I'm not sure. But it's nice and thin so I can fit a, a fat pin next to it in that in that pin pocket on my shirt. This is just a big ballpoint Bic pin. It's called the Velocity. And this is just a, a cheap Staples pin. It's a rollerball. Here's my mic. Yes, I know. It's huge. I hear that all the time. This is a... Uh, I bought this from a uniform supply store in a town nearby. It's also, I think Quartermaster has it under the Trooper mic, but it's supposed to be shock resistant and water resistant. And uh, it's Motorola two prong. Okay, here's the belt. I forgot to mention this 511 belt. Uh, 511 makes great stuff, but this is cheap. It's like, uh, it was 15 bucks at the supply store. See how strong this is? This is very strong. Uh, C511. And I got a size too big, so I just cut it and melted it with a lighter so it won't fray. Here's my keys, my little key loop thing. I got this at the uniform supply shop too. Just hangs over your belt and snaps. This is my handcuff key. You notice uh, you just screw in a regular handcuff key and if you break it off, uh, you just put a new one in. It's a good extension, makes it easy to use the handcuffs. And here's the the little pin to double lock it. I'll show you that on the handcuffs. Uh, this is my CPR kit. See, uh, I used permanent marker to black that out. It said like Red Cross or something. Here's inside the CPR kit. Uh, the mask is right here. It's a one-way valve. And here's some gloves, but the one-way valve is so they don't puke in your mouth. Uh, that happens a lot, I'm told. This is my slot card. Um, I use it to verify that I'm at a certain slot machine with the slot attendants. Okay, that's that. Here's my, my flashlight holder. I got this off eBay for $2 shipped. It's for a different brand of flashlight. This is an Ultra Fire. Um, it just clips on your belt. So that's real nice. It's thick. It, you can make it fit different flashlights by raising it up like that. And it'll fit a longer one. It's my flashlight. It's Coleman. It's push button. It's clicky. See how bright that is. Uh, we use this uh, driving patrol on our, our mule. We drive around and we got to shine it out in the desert. This shines really far. It's rated at 90 lumens. It's three triple A's. I got it at Walmart, I think, for 18 bucks. The strike bezel is really thick. Uh, a lot of cheaper flashlights, they make this part really thin. Uh, feels kind of like powder. I really like the finish. It's nice. fits in your hand nice. This is my uh, glove pouch. It holds four pairs of rubber gloves. Uh, looks like I bumped into something that was white. There we go. Uh, here's my gloves that I carry. I bought these myself at the uniform supply shop. Uh, they're they're thicker than the ones that are issued at our work. Uh, they're really nice. Um, let me show you one real quick. See this? They're really strong. Really strong. And here are my handcuffs. almost forgot about them. These ones were issued to me. They're Smith & Wesson Model 100s. A classic. These ones are older, though. Uh, see the double lock? Uh... You double lock them so they don't move forward. You know, they don't tighten up on somebody if you're wrestling with them. Uh, you double lock it and it makes them stay still. A lot of the newer ones have the double lock here. Uh, these are great. When I first got them, uh, you weren't able to see how that swings around. They weren't, they wouldn't, they would barely go like this. They would go, yeah, they were bad. Excuse the horrible sound effects, but. 
Wrap it up. Uh, here is the nylon pouch. This one was issued. It's got Velcro. Well, that's the detailed thing. Uh, if you got any questions, just uh, comment down below. Thank you.